Welcome back to Seeing Scarlet. Today, y'all, we have a Lady Raider off-season update with some fun stuff, stuff happening with some recruits on campus, some big-time recruits on campus, some really young recruits on campus that made me laugh a little bit and think about my age on when this person will be here. We'll get into that in a bit. And then old Gerlich is off doing some big stuff here in a few weeks to represent Texas Tech and the Big 12 up in New York. Whew. I'm hype. Are you getting ready for Lady Raider season? Like, it Dude, feels like I, it's not that far away, but it is. Like, I was ready yesterday. Um, and we're going to talk about it here in a bit, but like seeing them like working out and uh, preparing and practicing for this upcoming season, it just gets me more and more excited. Like, I want it tomorrow, you know? Yeah, the That's pictures it. of them like going to work and getting to work. Like, I think it was Logan posted something on her Instagram story and she just looks we talked about her and her interview how strong she is she does not look like a freshman and even the, the main accounts like just putting out the the flexing arms i'm like it's ridiculous so yeah i'm really yes. excited for this upcoming year and we will get into a lot of breakdown episodes and all that but we're pretty far from the season unfortunately yeah, <laughs> and, and we'll, we'll we'll start doing those types of episodes on like soccer and volleyball before mm. we dive into basketball but we, we will start interviewing some more basketball players we have jazz jackson coming up maybe next week we'll break that yeah. out wait maybe it's finally the technical issues we finally got them figured out her interview yeah. was finally uploaded so we can get that out to you so don't worry we're going to do lots of coverage on the on this current team uh but today we just want to give you all an off-season update on what's going on with the program because they're not stopping so um first let's start with did you see the news on krista gerlich dude the fun uh... thing on no days off no days off for krista Gerlich. i think Absolutely i saw a, one instagram story where she had a book and she looked like she was on like a cruise ship maybe or just somewhere tropical and dude get, i mean like guess what book she's reading you know she's not oh, reading harry potter book, or anything probably. she's reading yeah it's like leadership steps of like how to be a better leader you know what i mean like she ain't even she ain't taking she time write, off ever <laughs> write her own book i'd read that book Ooh, <gasps> that would be really cool girl like if you happen to be listening to this on one of your mini trips to wherever you're going yes you write, write a book, book girl Let's do it. just do it it's easy I love, right? I love listening to her coach like i'd love to be a practice sometime but just the videos like she does these clinics all the time it seems like and there'll mm. be videos that pop up on twitter and you she just knows what she's doing so it's fun to listen to her to her go to work and that's what she's going to be doing at this initiative up in new york at rucker yeah. park that the big 12's doing it's called uh, big 12 hoops in the park i believe is what they're dubbing it and they picked 12 coaches from around the big 12 half of them are men's coaches and half of them are women's coaches and so Krista Gerlich is representing Texas Tech in the women's basketball program as one of the six women's coaches from the Big 12, which the Big 12 is now made up of however many teams. I can't even – there's 16 of them this year. Is that right. right? Yeah. So she's six of 16 that got selected, and she's going. And the full list, for the people that want to know it, are the men's side is Scott Drew of Baylor, Mark Pope of BYU, Wes Miller, Cincinnati, Jerome Tang, Kansas State, Mike Borton, Oklahoma State, Jamie Dixon, TCU. And then on the okay. women's side is Amber Whiting, BYU coach coming in a new one. Katrina Merriweather, Cincinnati, Ron Huey, Houston, Jeff Mitty, Kansas State, and then of course our girl. Our Krista girl. Bling Garlic. bling. Love it. Dang. The so star. What are they what are they doing at this thing? How long has it been yeah. do you know how long it's been going on? Or like I think is this, this might the first be year? New. Okay. It sound, they made it sound like it was new. Um, a part of they might have been doing some stuff, but it sounded like it was a new initiative. And cool. they're basically doing what I was mentioning earlier, where she goes to these clinics, but it's a group thing. And so there's going to be different age groups or youth that sign up for this. Kids in that area, anyone that wants to sign up, and they're going to do drills and clinics at the historic Rucker Park there. And then they're oh, cool. also going to participate in Q and A with the youth that are participating after those clinics so i'm sure there'll be video and stuff that comes out but i don't there's 12 coaches there so i'm not sure how if they're each going to get their own specialty to talk about or each going to get their own like hey i'm doing ball side defense and that's what i'm teaching or i'm doing whatever mm -hmm. the mid-range game or something you don't know what the post moves you don't know yeah. what they're going to assign each coach to do or if they're going to group group think it i'm not sure how that's going to work you know but i'm sure we'll see video coming out it'll be cool to see out that would be fun to go to if dude that was up in the area yeah, so like they talked about, there's 
I'm reading an article now that there's like live DJs, food trucks. Like it mm. seems like a really fun event to go to and to see all of these coaches, like these top dogs. Yeah. Um, I want, I would National go to see coaches in that group. With you staff. know what? I want coach to put on a clinic of like recruiting 101 because she's like undefeated in that realm. She really is, so she, she's crushing it in all phases. That would be cool. Like for real, I wonder like what she would share with people or how much of it is like it's just the special sauce, yeah. you know? Yeah. Well, as far as recruiting goes with her, I mean, we from talking to yeah, these just true. in the six months we've been doing this and being able to interview some of the newer recruits and some of the outgoing seniors, they all talk about the same thing with her. That's true. It's it's not so much a recruiting pitch. It's just like, hey, this is a family. I want to we I know that you're good at basketball. You don't need someone to tell you that. Yes, I'll help you get better and we'll help you improve in the areas you can, but we're trying to make you a better person too. And I, that seems to be her. That's it. That's the secret sauce that shouldn't be a secret. Secret's should, out, right? Like, yeah. All, all coaches should do that, <laughs> yeah. but it's they don't. Um, AI and she so, does. So. Yeah, she does. So <laughs> I think that's probably what it would be about. If I was guessing, I could be wrong. She, I'm sure she has her own secrets that she's not going to share. Yeah. She's got to have her own tactics or Sometimes. ways to go about it. But I don't think it's too tactical. I think that's it's all about humans and relationships when it comes to that and creating that family atmosphere, which mm-hmm. this team definitely has. And it again, we may not have been paying attention as closely last year because we weren't having to do weekly coverage and like finding stories and mm. stuff yep. but it sure seems like the, the, the at least maybe the social media team is energized even from the the season and they're putting out more content but the team just keeps talking about the the culture is special with this group and yep and all that and that's that comes down to the leader that Gerlich is so Dennis? i'm <sighs> I'm jealous of these kids up in it, it, up in New York that are going to this. It's July really 18th. Fun. If for some reason you find yourself yourself up in New York City, it's outdoors, so I assume it's somehow open to the public to just watch. I'm not sure. Look into it. But there, like I said, there's food trucks and DJs and all that, so I assume anybody can roll through and, and watch these coaches do their thing and, and teach these kids. So very cool, so cool initiative overall that the Big 12's doing. I love where Yormack, the new commissioner, has kind of taken the – Mm. taking this league he's doing a lot of cool stuff like this so yeah it's, and it's fun the, that we're participating yeah like an honor you know like she was selected for a reason so i yeah i'm stoked for her that's a and huge she accomplishment too mm-hmm. that's what we love about her she's like yeah i mean it's good for the program to get your name see that Represent. double t amongst those kids up in new york mm-hmm. we love to recruit from texas and west texas <laughs> and all that but there's great talent everywhere especially basketball totally. talent up in new york so totally it's You're good totally things right. all around Oh, that's awesome. What else yeah. is going on on the hardwood? Speaking of recruiting, um, there were a couple of unofficial <laughs> visits on campus this week. We'll how start with. It... We'll, how we'll do you get to the... call something unofficial? Like, well, how... because you, I think you can only take like one official visit. Okay. And so that's when it's paid for, like by uh, the university okay. pays for your hotel room. You get like two nights free, your food. Cool. They can really show out for you, right? I see. Okay. Unofficially, you could technically be chilling on campus. I mean, you could just be rolling through town. Sure. You know, like it gives all these these players a chance to get to know the university on their own dime if they so cool. choose, and they're in the area, so they don't have to like base it off of one visit because that's tough. Um, but for t- making an even playing field. NCAA does have limitations on how often the school can pay for it, is my mm. understanding of unofficial. It's been a long time since I was in the recruiting world, but that's, sure. I believe, what that means still. And they can only have cer- so many um, times they can be wooed, so to right. speak. But they can do all the stuff. Like, they, we've seen the pictures come out. They still do. They wear the Jerseys uniforms. And, they do all mm-hmm. that. It's just kind of on their own dime, on their own time. It's cool. not official. <laughs> it's like those... <laughs> It's the opposite. voluntary workouts <laughs> yeah i know for yeah. The players it's like that same kind of uh vibe to it but it's fair that's how it yeah. works so we had i know it's a talent that we would love it's it's someone in the class of 25 and when you look at this this roster as it lays out there's not a lot of room on it this coming year mm-hmm. year that's when we'll probably just have the one class of 24 with bird martin Christ- christopher martin is that right yeah i always yeah. Want, just want to call her bird now uh, uh that we talked about in a previous video yeah, Calista, uh yeah. but 
Callista. Sorry, yeah. Mm-hmm. I just call her Bird when I'm talking about her now. I forget her I know. name. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. But I'm just it. like, Bird Martin's coming. She mm-hmm. might be our only one for that class because we just want to build our room. But then you fast forward to the class of 25. We talked about how there could be a lot of space, like five, maybe six spots open. Mm-hmm. They might not all go to recruits because then you have a really young team. But it's similar to what kind of this year where you might have three maybe even four class of 25 and a couple of portal players or something. Mm-hmm. You can't see the future, but a big piece to that one was on campus, uh, this weekend reportedly her name y'all. Yeah. I did some, some research to, to do as respectfully as I can to say this Avery, cause we love you, but Avery Jelmstad from, yeah, you got it. I, I, I think it. you I did. It. Yeah. She's from Oklahoma. So we do, we're going to have to battle off. Those two schools from the north. Uh-huh. But I will say we've been in on her much sooner than her quote-unquote hometown team, which would be OU. That might be where – I can't talk to the girl. I'm not even say where she's leaning. But one would assume that's the school closest to her. She's growing up going to the camps, blah, blah, blah. But they didn't offer her until like two days ago. We offered her back in April. We've been talking to her for a long time. A like we've been mm-hmm. we've been in on her for a while. So I'm hoping that that goes to our favor. And she seems to like us, interacts uh, with the team a lot on social. But we are gonna just realistically have to battle off the Oklahoma schools for. Her. But I'm telling, she fits into this offense, this this uh, program, this roster perfectly for what mm-hmm. coach is trying to build. She's a six two. Say it again, six two combo guard. Just how many times have we said that what? recently? We did it about Bird Martin. <laughs> You know, you have even Bailey Moppin's like 5'10 or 5'11, but still she's taller for her guard. Just this, the guard she's bringing in, um, they're not all going to be that way. You can be shorter and be very successful in basketball. I'm not saying you have to be tall and lanky, but she is, seems to be leaning that way um, with the majority of the ones she's going after. And she yeah. fits in. She's yeah. long. She can shoot. She can rebound. I think her, if you just look at her stats, people are like, I don't, I don't get it. Why is she a top 100 player? Um, but that's just casuals. Like she's not averaging. Like you look at Bird's stats, and it was like something stupid, right? Silly. <laughs> it was like twenty five points a game. Yeah. Then you like the level of play. She's playing at the six A level. She was averaging like thirteen points a game, four rebounds a game, a couple assists a game, you know, a block or two a game. Like she's very well rounded, and she's only a sophomore. Okay. <laughs> so that's her sophomore stats. So yeah, that's what people see in her. And then she's grown a couple of inches here recently. She can shoot from deep. She has that long, free, pretty, pretty stroke. Love it. Um, she would be a really big get for us. She's currently ranked 43rd in the nation in that class. Wow. We're also in on a few other people in that class, one of them being the number one player in the country in the class oh, of 25. <laughs> And Leah Chavez from Lubbock, Texas. Lubbock, Texas, Obviously, modern. those two together would oh my. automatically be the best class we've ever had. You put those Yo. in there together. And then we're in on some other people, which I'm sure we'll talk about in the future when they make their unofficial in their official visits. But, um, yeah, you get even if Chavez doesn't commit here, we don't know what's happening there. That's a long ways away, just like this is. Say that she didn't exist and that wasn't a Lubbock person and all that. Even just looking at someone like Avery – huge get we'd be yes. stoked would be yes. would that be like the highest ranked player we've had mm-hmm. and the girl like era 43rd would still be that that's how good of a player she is and she's only a sophomore so oh that class of 25 just has that ability to be monumental again that that's we are we, we talk a lot about the sophomore class we already have on camp like rising sophomore class we have on campus now and mopping and shavers and jojo and and jada that yep. are here now they would be seniors when this class of 25 is entering as freshmen that's a fun year to think about. You wish totally. that the junior class with Riley and, and she, all of them would be there too, but maybe they'll win their natty exactly. before then anyway get there started. There you go. But now that, that, there it is. Yeah, they'll get the first <laughs> natty. We'll let these, these youngins come in and get the next. So, um, yeah, yeah that, that it's fun to look towards the future in that way. And sh- this is – we've gotten our class of 24 commit like we talked about. Now the staff is moving towards the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how recruiting works. And this time next year is when she'll be making that commitment. Okay most likely um because that's when we got birds recently Mm. Mm -hmm, avery mm -hmm. will be looking to do the same for wherever she goes she has offers from all the programs like i said we were in on her april of this year we offered her oklahoma states offered her ou's offered her her list is it's every every school you would it's beyond the big 12 too like we're talking chapel hill we're talking she's top 
top Florida 50 State. in the country. She's getting, she's getting every power five that Why has a you? spot in the class yeah. of 25 is offering her. And I don't blame her. So, yeah. But she'll oh. take her time. She'll take her visits, her official visits. I'm sure hopefully we'll have her back on campus in her official capacity in the future because <laughs> that means we're still in her in her vision and her line of sight mm-hmm. and, and, and as an option. And I'm excited about her. And she's just a stud athlete, y'all. I didn't even mention this yet, but the girl she's... was the 6A state champion in high jump this year. The oh. Bunnies. Oh, cool. Not Different just 6'2". Yeah. Not just like, I'm good because I'm taller than all my position players. I, I can also jump. Yeah, she can. And Add her she's to the fast. athletic freaks this team already has. Yeah, yeah. She, I think she even ran the hurdles at oh my, God. in in uh, high school too. She probably did it all. She's just an athlete. 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 Yeah, that's what I mean, that's what people are projecting her. She's just an athletic guard mm-hmm. that can do it yep. all. And I, I, the more I watch her play, I'm really excited. I, I've ever since they offered her, I've we've been following her, and you'll see stuff pop up on her. I'm like, oh, please. I know, uh, but for it's, real. they're gonna have to do work to get her to 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 love it. But yeah. we're not that far. Oklahoma's right. not that far from Lubbock. You just got to fight off those home schools. And, and I, I would argue that, yes, OU has a great history of success. Mm-hmm. The next 10 years, mm-hmm. that's us. That's right. So do you want to be a part of a program that was good? Or are you in a, prog- a part of a program that's going to be good when you're there? Yeah, why wouldn't you want to be a part of that movement, you know? Yeah, um... OU has had great success getting to the tournament. I'm sure you would continue to help them, and maybe you can take them to the next level. But why not do that for the first time in a long time? You should with us. Yeah. And again, by the time she gets there, we've already won a natty anyway. So you just continue <laughs> success. I love it. I love the optimism. Yeah. That's my jam. Yeah. She her her clips and stuff like that um, that I've been able to see. It's everything that you said, and it just looks so impressive. Knowing. Her, like she's just a sophomore and how much time she'll have to grow a little bit more especially at that level like yeah it would be great to see her with a double t uh, on her jersey so hopefully that comes comes yeah. away but let's get yeah it done. every let's do it come on down to lubbock bring her home let's and go. then who, who else do we have did we Listen, have more than guys, one i'm not even gonna go i didn't do a deep dive on her because no <laughs> but class of <laughs> say it with me y'all class of 20 28 20 <laughs> I don't I can't even comprehend I don't even... <laughs> the math on Do that. you know that's so close to 2030 So close So <laughs> wow. close Wow okay I'm like I need to come back to I'm going to be reality. on welfare by the time <laughs> this girl is potentially on campus We're going to um, do we're going to do this podcast by carrier pigeon by that time yeah, I think we'll like, just the holograms are happening yeah. <laughs> then a podcast even exists but at any rate, 2028. class of 2028, just because we're here to report, uh, Easton McCullough was on campus this weekend as cool. well, or this past week. I'm assuming she was here for a camp or something. She must mm. be a very big up-and-coming player. I've seen her at some other schools and stuff. Uh, she's a 5'8 guard, but she's 13. Lord knows how much she'll grow what? before the time she is that. I think I grew like four or five inches my sophomore year in high school so if that's to give her any chance uh she'll be tall so yeah uh that's what i got on her like y'all again we're not doing a deep scouting report on a 13 year old it's just not our our jam but she was on campus and there's pictures and she seemed like she was enjoying her time here and she that's just how the world of recruiting works that shows our staff is like hey yeah you're in town come see what we're about get get in her head early and that's how you identify talent early and stay on their radar. So when I think she's from Oklahoma as well, if I saw it right, I might be wrong there, but okay. uh, she she was at the Oklahoma, OU camp last week okay. as well. So that's where I saw that. But another talented player. You never know what's going to happen in five years. This, she has not <laughs> been offered, obviously. Versus Avery is an official offer. We've offered her. She could sign and reasonably in the next year. This girl, you can't even offer her for a few years. But it's really fun to see. She was on campus. She wanted to see what we were about and get it in her head early. Um, she might yeah. have been there for the camp. I don't know what was going on there. but um, I was about to say. But that like, camp would have been like two weeks ago, and this was just this weekend. So mm. I thought it was cool. Uh, you know, thought we'd give, give her a shout out, but it's a long ways away. So good that, for her yeah. for starting her journey early and getting, getting a list of teams she might be interested in when the time comes. 
you know, I, I think what's so funny is like, yeah, wow, class of 2028. Like, I don't even want to spend too much time talking about it because it's so far away. But like, I remember seeing uh, during the tournament time, like, v- videos of Caitlin Clark, just like little baby Caitlin Clark mm-hmm. shooting up those threes at her age. And it's always cool to reflect yeah, back on. Start, so these 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 kids start early i know now, right the, the really good ones are on those circuits early it's kind of mm-hmm. wild the way so yeah it, maybe it'll be funny in six years <laughs> we can yeah, okay. pull back on this clip uh, okay be like we Mama. told you first <laughs> yeah we're like, back when i was your age we're like i told you yeah uh it'll, it'll be interesting i don't know so uh, well, cool. Yeah. and i like the i like the building the brand you know like if they're if they're like hey come on down see what we're about like yeah. i would always want texas tech to be the example that kids see and they're like okay cool this is what i deserve this is what i should be going for and even if it, i mean like even if it's not texas tech i think we have so much uh to be proud of with our facilities and with our coaching staff that like that yeah, i hope that co- they know you know what i mean like they're gonna see how elite texas tech was you know five oh. years ago when she's signing six years ago um so i i think that's cool yeah well, whatever yeah, and, year it is and, and she could go i'm sure she plays on a good aau team she can go back mm-hmm. and talk to her teammates she can wear the gear that they gave her it's it's all for sure it's all recruiting based and they'll be there like yeah and she gets to tell them maybe her some of her older teammates that are on that team that are good as well and be like yeah their facilities are crazy and then that gets them to come visit and you never know you never, you never know. know so we'll keep an eye on her for the next six years Maybe we'll just, as a running joke, do an Easton update every year and just let you know where, where the girl's doing. But, yeah, um, yeah class of 28. That's the early, I think that's the earliest I've seen an unofficial visit for a Texas Tech-related recruit for any sport. That, but I haven't been playing close attention until. But, yeah, oh that's really gosh. early. I love it. So, Dude, future is bright. <laughs> I just watched this clip of uh, breaking Easton. Angles. Yeah, she... I, didn't find, I didn't even look up clips. Like I know. I can't do it. So you talked about AAU, and I was like, oh, oh like sure that, I should go look at that. Exists. And I think, <laughs> yeah, it's, she goes down. It's a breakaway from the other team. They're going up for a layup. Here comes Easton out of nowhere, swipes the ball away very casually to create that, like, steal. She comes back coast to coast, dishes it off at the three-point line to one of her teammates. Her teammates dribbles for a couple of seconds. Easton's in the corner going like this, She's waving like, her hand, give me the rock. Wide open. Gives it to her. She pops up a three, holds the follow-through, timeout. <laughs> Okay, fine. She's got that, you know, Chavez. She's got fine. that Chavez energy to it. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. I'm no, glad I that there's... she must be a baller. People are always She's talking about be, her. She's got to be, right? Yeah. And she was on campus. Uh, oh. I'm just not paying attention to the to the things, but that's what our coaches that's what our coaches do for a living. And so they, they identified her and she wanted to come check it out. But I agree. It's cool. I'm, I'm excited to see what comes with that but there that is your lady raider update for the week we'll, we'll try to do these when they are it's the off season but as if any news comes out we'll give you one every week if there's news about it just like we're doing for all the other sports we, we want y'all to stay up to date because we want y'all to be as energized about this program as the staff is as the players are as we are as the fans that have opened their eyes to see it are and to get tickets your season tickets yes it's very affordable y'all it's a straight up still sibby has her own let the people know how they can get them. Yeah, uh, I bought two because I plan on bringing somebody with Drag me. Someone, at, you know, all of them. bring your whoever I can bring. For the Texas game. Yeah, but you can get your like a single ticket general admission um, for a hundred and two bucks. That's like including taxes, everything. I went through it right before we got on this episode, uh, and you're gonna get based off of last season's um, schedule about twenty home games, which is just like, come on, this is such a cool way to be involved with Texas Tech and. Kind of what you're talking about, Shelby, of us talking to former players, current players, and continuing to tell y'all what's going on with the women's side of things. Make the connection, right? Like, you see us, you hear us talking about them, you buy tickets to go see their game, and then you can make that connection of, oh, that's who they were talking about. And, like, wow, I this is all making sense. So I, I think it's a really cool way to see, like, what you're hearing, what you're seeing, and seeing it actually played in the USA. Nothing can match it. Nothing can match it. They have so much energy. It's so much fun. So get your tickets now. 102 bucks. Bada bing, bada boom. 
yeah be there it's gonna be fun times um follow them on social media they might all be getting ready to take a small break they gotta have some time off go visit their (laughs) families again but they've been working they've been in the gym and the the it just there's something different about this team this year they they're building off that success those seniors that 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 left and the ones that were here built for us and they're not they're not sitting around just being like we made the wnit yay they know what their mission is this year they're making the tourney and they're they're not just hoping to make the tournament they're putting in the work and it's there and i can't wait to see it uh all go down and when the schedule comes out i think it usually is september maybe so we got a couple months until that drops a month or so uh two months mm-hmm. calendar so yeah it's, it's a ways away but it's also not that time will go fast and get your tickets down make your plans to be there even if you can't get season tickets pick out five six games you want to go to and get those tickets and be there and bring some friends it all matters it all helps it helps them win and they talk about it all the time the energy matters they love it they feed off of it so yep. let's make it happen yeah get excited you should for this year for the class of 25 for the class of 2028 <laughs> this team is working and they're beyond. not sleeping <laughs> let's get it uh awesome see y'all next time Wreck Wreck em. Em.